This is the best gym in Miami. Oh. Oh, okay, so what are your thoughts about this gym? You know, me, I'm just detouring around, looking around. I see it's pretty fucking solid. You know? yeah, I think that it's the best in Miami right now. It's the best in Miami. I think so, yeah. And this is the worst. Yo, look at how nasty that is, bro. Ew, you heard how it sounded? What the fuck happened here? Roid Holy shit, Roid Rage. Yo. Oh my god. Look at the rack. Oh my god. Holy shit. Somebody nutted in this sauna before. Somebody jerked off in the sauna. You know that? Are you serious? I swear to god, I talked about it on YouTube before. Somebody, I caught somebody nutting in this sauna. And these are the things that we we're going to be scanning through in between the two gyms. The sanitization, the quality of people, the quality of staff, and the quality of equipment. So without further ado, Let's do this. Oh, and I also forgot to mention there has to be bad bitches. If there's no bad bitches, the gym automatically goes down three fucking stars. Don't question it. It's just how it is, okay? But the first gym I'm gonna go into is the shitty gym, just to let you know. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have entered the premise of the shitty gym, right? As a matter of fact, fun fact, Dylan, you have a guest pass, right? Yeah. He told me that because when we walked in, right, I don't have a membership here, obviously, but when we walked in, they like asked for my number, my email, my driver's license, all this shit. Why though? They never asked that? Like anybody you bring in, they never asked you before? Never, never for me. And any other gym either, like. You're the first person. Okay, so maybe they're spotting me right now, maybe because I'm gonna catch them lacking in this gym. My kind friend here that's holding the camera gave me some pre, I never bought pre-workout before, so. So I put it in here. I've only taken pre probably max 15 times in my entire life. Unfortunately, some dropped. So we're gonna have to do and take matters into our own hands here. And uh, yeah. <laughs> no, let me stop. <laughs> no, 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 no. Dude, holy shit. Do you think I was gonna do it? Yes. No, I'm not gonna do that. But I'm gonna leave it like this. And I wanna see if somebody's gonna come by and be like, yo, what is wrong with people? <laughs> Let's see, we're gonna come back, we're gonna take it to the test. If this is still here, then, you know, everybody's a good sober boy here, but if it's gone, somebody snipped that shit up. So let's uh, hit this workout and then we'll see what the fuck happens. I want you to know that with you Yeah, I get a little bit of anxiety recording myself by myself when no one recording me. I don't know, it's just like a little self by myself anxiety when people see me. I look like a fucking clown and I get embarrassed. Anyways, that's besides the point. Um, doing my serenade on leg press. And this shit. Look at this shit, bro. Look at the rust on this shit. This gym is fucking dirty, bro. And I used to go to this gym. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so my friend here has been fucking slacking, talking back and forth to not only me, but other people in the gym. So I finished my leg workout before he finished his push workout, whatever the fuck he do, chest, shoulders, triceps. Yeah. So I'm just gonna fucking wing it. I'm gonna do what he's doing. By the way, red flag, grabbing this shit, it's greasy. I don't know if somebody rubbed one out and nutted on the fucking thing and then just like rubbed it all over here, but that shit is greasy as hell. It's slippery, like dried up cum. Don't ask me how I know that shit anyway. So look at this shit. Look at how fucking dirty this is. I mean, bro, not only does this look like a fucking a donkey dick right here, but like, look at this shit. We have a little room here. There isn't jack shit. There's not even a fucking TV, which was supposed to be one here since the last time I was here, especially. Um, I don't know, somebody probably got pissed off, punched the shit out of the wall right there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the fuck happened there, but uh, yeah. So we have this. This is the bathroom, by the way. This is the locker room. We have our sinks. Very dirty. Look at this shit. Look at how wet everything is. Oh my god, look at that. Yo, look at how nasty that is, bro. Ew, you heard how it sounded? Ew. This is the bathroom. <laughs> Dude, I'm fucking retarded. This is the sauna. Uh, for a heads up, somebody nutted in this sauna before. Somebody jerked off in the sauna. You know that? Are you serious? I swear to god, I talked about it on YouTube before. Somebody, I caught somebody nutting in this sauna. I was in the bathroom. As a matter of fact, let, let's go really quickly. You, you can't see anybody. Let's go right here. I was in this stall. All right, let's turn around. I don't want to record anybody. And I heard somebody in here and they were like, oh, oh my God. And I heard this, like, I swear to God, bro. And then I heard him go like, oh my God. And then I got out breathing hard as fuck. And he was like, I just knew it. So yeah, um, we're gonna turn off the camera and we're gonna just analyze other shit because I think somebody might complain. We'll, we'll see what happens. All right, anyways, bye. Now we're in the locker room section. We went to the bathroom. It was a little bit awkward. Honestly, I kind of went a little bit too far. You know what I'm saying? People were fucking either nutting in there, taking a shit, <laughs> or fucking pissing. So <laughs> I'm invading people's personal space. Right now we have the locker room. I don't know. Everything seems 
Alright, I don't know why there's tape here. The only thing I don't understand is what the fuck happened here? Holy Roid shit, Roid Rage, holy yo. Oh my god. Dude, this shit is literally broken. While you just look at me and my friend just oddly stare at this broken ass locker, you do gotta admit this gym does have what you basically need to get your fucking workout done. I mean, you got a bathroom, you got a shower area, you got a hot tub, you got a pool, you got a sauna, you have the fucking locker room, you got the weights. It's just the quality of everything is not as good as I guess you would want it to be per se, but I mean, dude, you can't complain. I mean, you can still get everything done at least. This girl is on fire. <laughs> so, my man, how long have you been going to this gym in particular for? About like four years. Four years? This gym? This gym, I believe. Yeah, four years. Oh, shit. Okay, so what are your honest thoughts in this gym? Like, do you like it? Is there things you that you think it may need work on, or like? Well, I think they need a couple new machines here and there. But other than that, the square footage is what I like. Yeah, there's a lot of space here, I will say. Yeah, the roof is pretty high. It's like a warehouse, so yeah. it feels it feels better than other gyms. Yeah, even when there's a lot of people, like you still got a fuck ton of space. Exactly, exactly. But that's the only thing I would improve on is like different, a couple different machines need yeah. to upgrade on. Okay. I want to know, what are your thoughts on this gym? Like, what do you think they need to improve on? What do you think they're fucking got some good shit? Like, I don't know. They need more weights. Before they used to have the 120s in here. They don't have 120s anymore? Nah, this place sucks. Oh my god, it sucks. So they need to upgrade the equipment. It's the only way. Okay. They upgrade the women, but now they need to upgrade, they upgrade the, the women. Dude, I don't see any fucking women, bro. I'm trying to approach a girl. Like, flirt with her. I don't, I don't see shit, bro. No. I don't know if my standards just went up. Or <laughs> too, I don't too many uh, pre-workouts, that's why. Too many pre-workouts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I wanted to ask you guys, what do you think about this gym? Um, it's pretty yeah, good. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah, like, I honestly, don't like you don't like it. Yeah, I train him. It's very dutch. I don't like here. What, why do you like? It's just too much people. And too like, much people. Yeah. But it's not professional gym. It's gym for everybody. You have yeah. basketball and stuff like that. So you could you could make it work. Okay. But you know it's not like elevation. It's just like a elevation. Professional. It's just you like a bodybuilder. Yeah. I'm actually gonna go there for uh, this video. It's a bodybuilder gym. Yeah. Is it good? Everything you need. Is it really good? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're about to find out, baby. And they have like the 200 pounders, the oh, 180 shit. pounders, dumbbells. Yeah. For guys like you, so man. Here, I'm, I'm not on that here, level yet. The highest weight is on 100. Really? Yeah. I heard they used to have 120s, and I think I remember they used to. No, it depends to have... on the gym. 125, the one on 123 in Biscayne. They have the 125. Yo, my man, can I ask you a question really quickly? Can I ask What's you a question really quickly yeah. first? No? No. Okay, no problem. For me, it's a lot of people. A lot, a lot of people. Yeah. Every so you don't like. In the morning, the afternoon. Even in the morning? No. Sometimes I go here. I come here in the morning. A lot of people. Holy shit, okay. It's just, it's really dirty too. Yeah, so it's dirty. Like, there's dirty rust. Too. I mean, we're here though. We're here. It, it gets the job done at yeah, least. But exactly. it is dirty, I will admit. That's the one thing I don't like. So right. I'll go to different LA Fitness for different purposes. Oh, okay. You know, but this one is, I'm, honestly, this one is the. People say like... They need to renovate that because every, every else is no renovated. Yeah. They have the carpet, they have everything that's in every other elevator. And this is like this the same one. shit. And this is the same shit. Yeah. Work. People have been saying like, I mean, well, it gets the job work. done. You yeah, you can make it done. No size. Anybody yeah. below 250 can make it work. Yeah, the, the cocaine is uh, gone, guys. Somebody snipped that shit up. Look at the fucking... Look at this, bro. Oh my god, look at this shit. Look at this. What the fuck is this? You can get your workout done in here. You can like get shit done, but like, besides that, dude, I don't know, bro. The fucking dirt is just not it. All right, guys. So <laughs> this is officially the shittiest gym. In my <laughs> Yo, no, but all jokes aside, guys, staff changes every fucking two months, right? Does it still change a lot? Something like that. Yeah, it changes so fucking frequently. Frequently, even though although it changes very much, the class of fucking staff they have is just absolutely shit. I mean, you said the fucking GM, the general manager is a dickhead. He's a cocksucker. We have to like sneak in this camera from time to time. We're gonna get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna go to elevation just like that Jack motherfucker said. Well, you know, it's not like elevation. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be the best gym in Miami. Yeah, this is definitely one of the worst fucking LA Fitnesses you could ever go to. LA Fitness, don't sue me. If you do sue me, guys, subscribe to back your boy up to uh, uh, I guess support a, a, a nice uh, just subscribe anyways I don't know what the fuck I'm saying let's go let's just go fuck it I'm a retard I just want to say all right don't make it too obvious Alex come here 
come this way? I don't know if you guys can see, but Steve will do it is right behind us. He's dipping right now, but I am pretty confident he's gonna come back into the gym. And when he comes back, we're gonna interview him, all right? Well, turns out the motherfucker never came back. So unfortunately, uh, yeah, that's the only thing you're gonna see. The side profile, Steve will do its fucking head. They have their own signature on the plates, bro. That's a fucking green flag, I'm sorry, okay? That's, that's nice. That's nice. I gotta say, I've never seen that shit before. And there's some fucking bad girls, okay? There's also some bad girls, so that's an extra point, all right? That's, you, for those of you who really watch me, you already know that's a big one for me, so. All right, so apparently this is the posing room. How do you turn this shit on? Holy shit. Oh, this looks good. You can't lie. All right, guys, so we are in the posing room. It preferably looks better more in the nighttime because I feel like the lights turn off over here. We've got the lights over here. These little fucking yellow beam lights project to over here. And as you can see, it makes the physique just fucking boom, pop out. Right now, we are in the main entrance of the gym. You zoom in over there, that's where the entrance is. It says exit. I don't know why the fuck the entrance is the exit, but that's besides the point. You see it? Is it good? <laughs> All right. They have a full ass rack here, right? but it's not just a full wrap. They go from, I'm assuming five pounders to all the way up to this shit. Check this out. There's 150s right here. And you think that's like the heaviest that there is in this gym? No, look at this shit. There's fucking 200s. <sighs> Imagine somebody that is gonna lift that shit up doing chest press, bro, or shoulder press or anything along those lines. They have three rooms, by the way. I thought there was just one. I thought this whole thing right here, check this out. I, I thought this whole thing was just one, but apparently there's three. Okay, which I was like, okay, that's good. Because I was about to say this gym's small as shit, but it's not that small. I see a fucking shit ton of squat racks. You could even power lift here. They even have a powerlifting fucking rack, which is like, holy shit, dude. So to be honest, it seems like this room is just focused more on legs. Holy shit, they have chalk over here? What the fuck? I didn't even know they had chalk, bro. What the fuck? I would have used that shit. I would have used that shit if they had chalk and I knew that. Damn. Well, grab some fucking chalk because your grip's gonna get loose, alright? That's what your girl said. That's what your girl said. Now, we are gonna enter the third room. Remember guys, there's three fucking rooms in this shit. A little rack here, you know what I'm saying? If you're a newbie like me, you know, you're not that big and fucking jack compared to like the majority of people in this gym. You mostly wanna stay here, okay? Now over here we have some like fucking, you could do like some CrossFit or some shit actually. As a matter of fact, you could do some fucking muscle ups. I can't do muscle ups, so that's not gonna happen for this video. Yeah, you could do muscle ups, um, pull ups. Any variations of those. What I like about this gym is although it can get relatively packed, they have a fucking bunch of variations for leg machines, chest machines, shoulder machines, back machines. So literally you could get your workout in inevitably. Like you're inevitably gonna be able to get your workout in. I mean like literally I fucking had a hard time in the beginning with chest and shit because like everything was starting to get taken as it was getting packed. But uh, you know, I've been able to get my workout done and uh, quite efficiently. So yeah, they have a cryo room. I don't know if you can see that from this angle. They have a cryo room. I'm gonna see if we could try to test that shit out. I went into the room to try the cryo. Unfortunately, according to them, it's a separate business. So with that being said, you have to actually pay to fucking get your, you know, your nutsack iced up and all that shit. So I'm broke as fuck. If you guys wanna help and support the cause and you wanna see shit like this happen on the channel, subscribe because that'll help the money go up a bit. I think we should interview some people and ask them their thoughts on the gym now, so. Let's fucking get into it. What are your thoughts on this gym? Like, honestly, like the good, the bad, everything. I think that it's the best Miami right now. It's the best in Miami? I think so, yeah. Okay. I mean, I think it's one of the best teams if you want to do ways. Okay. Last days, like, we have a three huge space. Yeah. Uh, you have even, I, I, it's just so much stuff that... It's like a wide variety of stuff, yeah. Like, yeah, but I, and you have so much thing to do that I, even a machine that I don't know how to use. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you used everything or no? No, no, and I have like a six month already here. And six I months. Have, and I still have my machine I haven't used it yet. So. Oh my god. This is awesome. It has awesome. everything. Everything. Yeah, it does. And the environment is insane. Like, <laughs> what do you mean by the environment? The bad girls? Like, is that what you're talking about? Hey, yep. Oh. Oh, yeah. Look at women. See, I can't relate. I'm probably going to be singing for the rest of my life, bro. <laughs> I think there's no place like it, for really? sure. Really? Yeah. Like it, okay. It's a vibe. You have different types of vibes. Okay. So this is like a cleaner, boutique kind of style. Then there's like bodybuilding. Then on the other side is like weightlifting, more intense, yeah. like shock. They got everywhere. a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. There's no gym that has this amount of equipment. Yeah, they have like a wide variety and shit. I'm like walking around like, oh my God, I have every option here. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. It's like fucking Christmas came early. <laughs> I think it's a great environment. Everyone here is very supportive of each other. Everyone's a good people. We're all at the same goal here. And it's been, I've been here about a year now. I love it. 
A year? Yeah. Okay, like, this is your main gym that you go to? It is, yeah. Oh, shit, bro. Do you find everybody to be, like, friendly here? Do you think it's, like, family-oriented, kind of? For the most part. More than other places, for sure. Really? Yeah, everyone really is. It's always busy, and everyone, you know, meet a lot of good people here as well. It's changed, to be honest. At the start... Really? I, yeah, so at the start, I was at another gym, LA Fitness, and okay. then I wanted to have a change of gym. Yeah. Um, so I came here. I really liked it. A lot of motivation. A lot of really fit people. Yeah, no, it's that competition's here for real. For sure. Then it got, I mean, I'm here to work out. I did compete at one point in time, okay. um, but I'm here just to do my workout now and it's kind of gotten like a fashion place almost. Okay, so that you don't like it, the turn kind of? Yeah, exactly. Okay. I think it's become more of like the popular place to be. Uh, okay. So, All right. Yeah, now I do like it and I do like coming here and the equipment is amazing. But, uh, I don't know, I'm also kind of getting tired of the same place, so. Yeah, I get you, I get you. Yeah, it makes sense, you know, I, I know a lot of famous people go here, so I was like, oh shit, Everyone okay. Everyone knows the gym, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, wow, okay, nice. What would you rate this gym from one to five stars? You have to say. I'll give it five. four and a half. Four, four and a half? Four and a half. You gotta say a five. They don't got, got kilo, you know, kilo plates. Kilo plates? Yeah, oh, they, got the, they, have, they have pounds. And you would say five? Yeah. Five. Five. 100%, yeah. Holy shit. Okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> All I right. Gym, man. I love the family that they create here. Okay. I love the vibe. I love everything. Five. Five. Four. Really? Yes. Oh my god. I have everything. Just look around. Oh, no, I mean this is my first day here. Oh, no, yeah. I'm just looking around. See a lot of beautiful women. You know what I'm saying? So that's a plus. You know. They also have a couple of uh, cardio machines here. They have some right here. They have a couple of stairmasters over there. They actually have some stairmasters in that room as well, and in the one over here. But uh, yeah, if you want to do cardio, let's do it right here. But I don't do cardio, so that's a no-no for me. So we have to go, Alex. Let's, let's get the fuck out of here. They have this bathroom here, and they have a bathroom over there. It doesn't have a gender. I, I don't know. Maybe like any sex can go in there. But this is what the bathroom looks like, just to give you guys a little visual. All right, come in here real quick. My fucking cameraman's like all fucking nervous and shit. You know what's funny? My friend that went to the LA Fitness, he was the same way. He's like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? Because I imagine, you know, LA Fitness has like a big ass locker room and a bathroom. And I just started talking about people nutting in that shit, you taking this shit. This is a small bathroom for one person. Yeah, I know. You but know I mean? they see the camera. Two guys in here. They see, Two they guys in here. <laughs> they see I don't the... want anybody to get the wrong idea. No, listen. Because I don't swing that way. Maybe you do. No, I don't, I don't okay? okay? Anyways, um. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, we're just shooting a little video real quick. <laughs> Somebody just opened the fucking door. Oh my god. So, in the bathroom, it seems like it's an individual bathroom, like only one person can go at a time. Two if you're trying to fuck somebody, but that's besides the point. You have a sink here. Sink seems relatively clean, I'm not gonna lie. You have, uh, you know, a little soap dispenser, garbage. You have the little fucking little air dryer. They also have an individual shower head. Yo, where's the spot? With fucking hair uh, conditioner, shampoo. I don't know what kind of, you know, what the fuck that is, but... They also have, uh, you know, body, what, what do you call it? Uh, uh, body uh, lotion? I don't know, I'm a fucking idiot, but that's besides the point. Conditioner? No, whatever, bro. We're, we're, we're fucking terrible at this, Alex. In total, they have six bathrooms, which is reasonable, not too bad. All right. This is the locker room. Now, I will say it is a little bit disappointing because, I mean, look, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve lockers. And this gym's pretty fucking big, right, Alex? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's a pretty massive gym. Yeah, it's pretty fucking big. And then on top of that, it kind of like boxes out the noise. So that's a plus. But I do have to admit, it's extremely small. Little did I know, there was actually a little bit more lockers than I expected there to be. As soon as this one individual walked into the fucking small ass little locker room and decided to charm in on our conversation. We never have enough lockers. Never. But on the other side of the wall there, there's like another 50. 50? Yeah. Okay. On Wait, the really? Side of the wall right there, there's like 50 more lockers. Oh, shit. You can't miss them. I thought this outside. was the only locker room. No, no, no. Oh my if you walk around this other locker room, against the one on the other side of the wall, there's 50 other lockers. Oh, there is? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, so I We're misunderstood that. All right, guys, so the guy was right. They have a couple more lockers. They have lockers here. Sorry, man. They got lockers over there, so that's not too fucking shabby. And just like that, we visited the worst slash best gym in Miami. And what it comes down to at the end of the day is, listen, everybody has their own type of gym. And it's not one's the best and one's the worst. At the end of the day, it's just what's the best for you? What is your best choice and option? Some people like to go to gyms where, well, they nut in the sauna and they jerk off. <laughs> at the end of the day, it's not my problem. I just don't want to do that shit. <laughs> but others 
They like the lavish ass fucking weight room. I just can't afford that because I'm a broke piece of shit, okay? <laughs> but that's besides the point, again. The point I'm trying to make here is guys, find the best gym for you. The best gym for you may not be the best gym for me. I like a gym with a lot of heavy weights and a lot of bad bitches, but I'm a picky ass motherfucker. So don't take my word for it. Just find your good gym, okay? But with that being said, any other, any other, any other way, I want you to.